We're here at Paradise Lake. Beautiful, beautiful lake. It goes all the way. It's 0 0.6 tenth of a mile with walking. And here with Mr. Linden. And can you tell us how did you come up with your for the Power Lake Village property. It's funny that you ask that because this lake is called Paradise Lake. And I discovered that after I moved here and named my property Paradise Village. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about the Garden of Eden. First I was going to call the land Eden or Goshen. Goshen was the property that the Israelites got from Egyptians when they moved from Canaan into Egypt. And it was the most prosperous land, most fertile land there was. Mm -hmm. And so when I was thinking about um, Eden, God says Eden is a garden that's in paradise. They, they refer to the Garden of Eden as paradise. And so I figured we'll call, call it Paradise Village and retreat center. See the Canada geese here? Beautiful. So, the message for you for the Paradise Village mm -hmm. came from, came about when? Well, you know, in the year of 2019, it just came upon me suddenly, uh, just almost overnight. I was in a dry season in my life, which I refer to as a dry season in almost every area, financially, emotionally, even spiritually, out of a dry place. It seemed like it was just... Nothing was growing, nothing producing in my life. And it seemed like I just, even though I was going through the motions, still doing ministry, still holding conferences, graduations, I still felt like it was like artificial. Mm. And God just breathed life into me like a valley of dry bones. Wow. Basically, he said, can these bones live? Mm. And I said, Lord, you know, he said, well, prophesy to them. And I remember just crying out to God, I said, God, I'm just not at the place where I want to be in life. I think I should be somewhere further in the process of the vision and calling. And so I was feeling somewhat low. And I just went to sleep one night and I guess meditating upon it. Almost the next morning, God says, wake up and start looking for land. So I looked over Southwest Georgia, drove five hours to go view some land. Wow. Didn't really feel it was peace in my spirit, but I did get connected to someone from that same town later on to, to preach a message. And then I kept, he kept nagging me, so to speak, about it. I got online. I saw a picture of some land, had some pecan trees. I drove down, saw the land. They had the signs saying they were available. I selected one lot because I was thinking I'm going to be like a recluse, just a retirement home for me. Right. But then as I walked around that boundary of the property, I kept wandering into the adjacent property. I reminded myself not to do that next time, but I still did it. Then I listened to God. God started speaking to me saying, I want you to buy the next one. So I bought the next one. And I thought, okay, I'll have peace. God says, no, I want you to buy the next one. And then finally, I just said, God, what, what, why have you sent me here? He said, I want you to buy all this and develop a paradise village and retreat center, which is not a retirement home for you, but a retirement community. My God. And then I finally felt peace about it. And God has been prospering our past. We've developed three housing, three of the five housing units thus far. And God has favored our journey over these last two years. So whatever it is God is saying to you, mm -hmm. listen. And no matter how uh, 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 impossible it seems, uh -huh. know that it is possible with God. Amen. Just trust and obey God. Trust and your and blessings obey. will follow your obedience. Amen. And then after being obedient and listening to the voice of God, yes. um, how did you come about with the names of each college? It doesn't, uh, the colleges have names? Yes. That's, that's a very good question because he always wanted to be, be constantly reminded of what brought you here. And so one of the first things I felt when I obeyed God was a piece of serenity. I felt a calmness upon myself. And so the first cottage that he allowed me to purchase that, that I now live in is called Serenity Cottage. Okay. And then the next cottage is, he says, what is, I was thinking of names that match the, uh, the plants that were on the property. I was going to call one lot Cypress Lot. Mm -hmm. I was going to call another one Pink Dogwood Lot uh -huh. because of the plantings. But then God says, no, speak a name about spiritual life. Mm -hmm. Then the first one was joy. 
But then he says there's peace, there's tranquility. Amen. And all this is a result of God's favor. Amen. And that's how the cottages came to be. Serenity, tranquility, joy, peace, and favor. The big white bird sitting in the lagoon right there. Oh yeah, and he's a big one too. Wow, look at that. That's a big bird. That's what he flew to when we were That's looking. That's right, that's a big bird. So. There he is, it's light. Maybe mm. she got some footage of him. Wow, look at this Wow, beautiful. Just a beautiful day to just come out and enjoy the scenery that this is God's creation. Look at the ripple up here from, from the wind blowing. Wow. So, we're here. Beautiful day. Fresh air. God has allowed us to be a part of and we thank God so much for his purpose being unfolded the vision being unfolded the love yeah, his, his grace and his mercy amen amen we were, we were talking about the kindest names really one kindest name really just nails the whole thing down his favor everything that's happening is a result of God's favor Favor will take you where finances can't take you, will take you where education can't take you, it'll take you where networking won't take you. Favor is a divine instrument that's used by God to accelerate your progress in the things of God. So I pray that each one of you would always know that the favor of God is free, it is unmerited, it doesn't have to be earned, and no, none of us deserves it, but it's a precious divine gift from God. So I pray that the favor of God will be upon you in whatever you endeavor to do. How about you, Pastor Danny, your process of developing property, locating property, developing property? I know you're in real estate, but on your personal life, God brought some personal visions to you about property. Amen. Um, so many years ago, it was um, probably early 2000s um, when the name Women with Vision and Purpose came to my spirit so I had been paying for that name for years and I was like okay I want to find some you know it got on my heart to, to help the battered and abused women so I was on that journey of helping them but didn't know quite how mm -hmm. um, I start purchasing houses and and um, trying to house them but didn't have the real knowledge of what to do to try to maintain so after that point, I was like, okay, well, um, I started all over and went here and one, one city came to my mind and I went there and I was thinking, okay, this is it. But I think God just really wanted to know, was I going to be obedient and walk in this plan? Absolutely. So in walking in the plan of God and listening to the voice of God is important um, to hear him and to not just hear, listen and obey. So at that point, I um, I said, well, God, I'm so kind of a little discouraged. And um, speaking with one of my contractors, he said, okay, I got some land that you might be interested in. Mm -hmm. And remember, I had said, God, I'm not looking for anything else. Uh, I'm done. I'm done trying. I've tried and tried and tried. And, and this is what I would say to the saints of God, people of God, that take another look. Take another look. Mm -hmm. Go back and take another look. Because that's when he revealed to me what the real plan was, what the mm -hmm. real location was. Um, and so I went to South Lizella, 2923 South Lizella. And, um, yeah, South Lizella, and, um, and which was 22 acres of land. Mm -hmm. And so we are just so thankful that God has blessed us with two locations yes. to be able to build a community that will help seniors, that will help 
um, women mm-hmm. that will help the people of God or yes. whatever their needs are. Kingdom people. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm so thankful that God has um, God has the final say. Mm-hmm. No matter what you think or feel within your flesh, stay with the stick with the spirit because mm-hmm. the spirit will lead you into all truth. It'll guide you and it'll protect you and it'll keep you. So we just thank God for today, a beautiful day that we're just sitting in the park and enjoying life. And and this is what it looks like when you're just sitting on a bench and looking at the looking at the waves of the of the lake, the ripples of the lake. Yeah, reflecting on the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. What a blessing. And what an awesome God. Amen. So we're so glad to have this time to share a few moments of our journey. I'm sure each of you have a story as well. Continue your story. Your chapter, your book is not ended. Maybe one chapter may have ended, but God is not finished with you yet. Amen. Continue to follow the path of God and see him bring everything to pass. In Jesus' name.